Hello guys, Jacob here and welcome to another video which is like a second part of our stay in Greece with Gwen. It's Saturday morning, we both with Gwen decided we want to get up early, we can rent a motorbike and we can go to explore those most amazing beaches here in Corfu island in Greece but immediately the first plan that we get up early went wrong it's 9 a.m. we both get up late so right now I'm currently on my way to some bakery get some breakfast we will eat and then we will get the things ready we will go to that rental store with cars motorbikes and we will begin our journey here in Greece so Stay tuned for those who haven't seen the first video from yesterday Check that video, the link is in the description of this video And enjoy! Currently we are staying in the city Benitez Here in Corfu Island I really love this city The sea is very reachable from all those accommodations which are affordable here So many car and motorcycle rentals, supermarkets, public stores with souvenirs, everything is here and it's the most important, it's really like quiet here, not like in the huge city with huge traffic, so many people, so many tourists, like of course here are tourists as well, but really not that many. For now I can recommend this place to visit for you guys most of the time when you are going to visit these places and looking for some delicious restaurant or bakery it's mostly somewhere in between those little streets not many people can find it but I was able to find I bought the breakfast and I will show you what I bought in our accommodation when I will get back and we will share with you our plan for this day you can see guys how people in Greece live here they have quite beautiful houses even if it looks old it's still nice quite the big gardens they are growing grapes there are olive trees some kinds of vegetables I could see as well tomatoes so right now we are going to have a breakfast Gwen will show us what I bought I don't know what's this but it is like a bread This is like a cream bread uh -huh. Cream pie Cream pie This one is sweet And then we have salty ones This one is chicken and ham pie It's very huge <laughs> Everything here is huge actually, it's crazy <laughs> And the third one is spinach pie it's crazy, I can say that the cuisine here in, um, in Greece is just so amazing, delicious That's and true. very unique. Yeah. Hey guys, good morning, another sunny day. Me and Kuba are planning to rent a bike because it's easier for us to travel to different places compared to riding a bus. So we are going to the Corplus the rental company where we are going to buy I'm gonna borrow the motorbike here's our motorbike guys Kuba is a driver we'll see his skills okay let's start the trip I'm small short Right now, we just headed with Gwen to the gas station. We were not checking the amount of fuel in the scooter. We also, we almost run out of the fuel. So now everything is fine. We have enough gasoline. Gwen is having her breakfast as well, water, and I'm enjoying a little coffee. And after we are done with this break, we will keep going. The Google Maps show that we should be able to get there in one hour, 30 minutes. 
but we are not even close and we've been already traveling for like one hour 20 minutes so uh, let's see right now we hit it to the Porto Timone beach we will leave the motorbike here it's like I'm not sure if it's allowed to leave it here but there are parking spots but you have to pay here it looks like it's free we will see if they will not steal our scooter and now we can go to the beach So we can arrive in Porto Mini and Porto Mini actually is one of the best beaches in Greece. It's not Porto Mini. Huh? Porto Timoni, sorry. <laughs> That's Porto Timoni. The thing which is different from the place where we are staying, where is our condo and here that area is like east and here in the west it's much more colder. The wind is not that dry, not that hot. And also, I guess the sea will be also colder. Okay. We've just met a girl who was saying to us, like, good luck. <laughs> well, I was asking if it's like hard way, and she said, yeah, it is. So let's see if we can finish. Finish to that view. And now, guys, finally, we are here in Porto Timoni Beach. Yeah. And it will be like Gwen will make a review around the beach and I will make a review under like inside the sea And here how it looks like the reality the raw the reality so many people <laughs> But still it's amazing beach But already well known the point where we were in the point of view is right here and then we have to climb backwards and then around and we end it here there is the other side of the beach behind that forest but we stop here Now guys we came back from the beach we are again here with Gwen with the motorbike as a reward we are eating an ice cream and what do you think about the beach baby how do you like it what you could say about that it's very nice but the way to get there is far and it's quite difficult but as you can see there are two beaches that are like connecting to each other they're actually totally opposite if we talk about the coldness of the water in the right portion the water is cold in the left area the water is warm and the waves are strong compared to the right area of the beach and not much fishes as well but so many people when i was snorkeling it looked like a dead sea you could see a couple of fishes but uh, no coral reefs and like those but still it was nice place <clears throat> and the second nice place we are going to visit right now we arrived um, it's near in canal de amor but for now we are in the corianderia a small restaurant beside the street um wanting to eat our lunch <laughs> It's really surprising for me and really for me Greece is like the same vibes as in the Philippines. As Gwen was mentioning we stopped for the lunch and I would like to show you how it looks. It's called like Green Taverna Konaki 
and there is so many restaurants and canteens like this in this area and it's I always prefer to visit this kind of restaurants than those super fancy ones because they are trying to adapt their foods to European to USA customers but it's really not the real taste of that Greek or that exact country cuisine so <clears throat> always like to visit those which doesn't look extra luxurious but you will get the real taste of their foods we will show you how it looks like and tell you how it tastes like greek cuisine is really number one one of the number ones in the world gwen is a little bit nervous because we are very far away from our home and our phones are going to die and we forgot the cable for the charger so maybe we will get lost on our way home but as people say all the roads leaps to Roma in Roma we don't have a home but we will see where we, it will lead us once you are in the restaurants guys here in Greece it's the same like in Italy they always have an olive oil like olive trees are <laughs> one of the highest production here in Greece in agriculture and it's very delicious like just to taste the olive oil by itself or add it to your meals they are addictive to olive oil instead of baby milk they are feeding their children by olive oil and here we are finally with our lunch I have a meal called spaghetti in the oven and Gwen has chicken fillet with a blue cheese. With the blue cheese and french fries. For sure it will be delicious. And the sweet dot in the end. Gwen has strawberry milkshake. Yeah. So right now we just headed to the beach called Canal di Amore. Canal di Amore. So we found the parking right next to this beauty when it's changing there behind the car and then we will go explore this beach it's going to be last beach of today because it's already 5 pm we were thinking we can manage three beaches at least but we managed only two but tomorrow we will continue So here is this nice walk leading to the beach. And here we are in the heart of the canal. Let's go there to those waves and fight with the waves. Huh? Yeah, we will go. <laughs> Actually, guys, the wind is very strong. <laughs> I convinced Gwen to go with me to those waves, <laughs> and she is already fighting with the waves there. And right now guys we are already home from the road trip we took a bath get ready and now we are just sitting looking at the sunset listening to the noises of the sea like it's really nice but still it can be better because <coughs> we decided to go with Gwen to this restaurant here in Benitez it's called Avra it's perfectly situated right next to the sea during the day the customers can just order the food drinks lay here on the beach and right here this is this hilarious area here is our place with my amazing wife hello we are currently waiting for our foods the stuff is 
absolutely amazing very friendly the waiters were talking with us asking us about our day very kind very working hard it's after a long time i've actually visited the restaurant like that with amazing stuff and guys once if you are here in the venices you should really visit this place Alright guys, so that's a wrap on our epic journey through Porto Timoni and Canal de Amor. I hope you had a blast exploring these hidden treasures and stay tuned for more escapades on this channel. See you around and if you like this video, you may click the like button and the subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos with us and keep rocking! Bye!